Hello and welcome. Now, this is the scenario that was presented to me. I have a client who has large volumes of data, both on premises and in the cloud from multiple different data sources. They want to bring this all this data together and run some data science models on top of it. I'm like, okay, this is what Fabric is for. So piece of cake, right? So I bring in data from all these different data sources and we create a lake house out of it. Of course, there's more to it, right? The, the, then the next requirement is, okay, now that we have ingested all this data, now we need to give access to a subset of this data to our data scientist and who, who can run their data science models. And obviously we do not want any data movement or duplication. And the data scientists should be able to create new tables, for example, run their model and create a table or a file with their output in it, but they should not be able to edit the existing data. So they should have access to a subset of data, but not edit it. So read only access to a subset of data, but have the ability to create new tables and files. So, so I thought, okay, you know, Microsoft has released their new one leg data access. So let me give it a try. Although uh, I understand this feature is in preview, but it's something we can definitely take a look at. So this is what I did. Okay, so right now I'm in my lake house. And if you notice, I have a whole bunch of different tables and I need to give access to only a subset of this data to my data scientist. So on top, we have this new feature, manage one lake data access. Of course, like I mentioned, this is features in preview, but once I click on it, I, I'll be able to create a new role. So I created a new role called a data scientist, and then gave access to those tables that is required for the data scientist. Now, this gives me the ability to give access to tables. I cannot give access to views. Let's say I create a view. I, I will not be able to give access to that, but it's only at the table or the file level. So I had to create, my, my table had about 40 different columns, but the data scientist needed only 10 of those columns. So I had to actually create a new table with the 10 columns that are required by the data scientist. And so there was a little bit of data duplication, but again, but it's at the development workspace. I, I, right now, the ability to create views is not there. So I had to do this and then give, give access to this data scientist role. Now, once I give access to the different tables or folders, I need to assign this role so I can enter the user who's, who has access to this. For example, let me pick new user, add, and then you, that's how you add the user. And you can also give them various permissions, read, write, execute, read all. In my scenario, I just wanted them to give have read access to this data source so they can read it, execute, execute it, or read all. And so those are the permissions I gave them. And once I did that, this is one more thing that you, I had to kind of figure out is I need to share this information. I sh initially, I gave them access to the whole workspace, which is not the right thing to do. You need to share this particular lake house, not give access to the whole workspace. Now here I can give access to the user, um, pick the user, give access to the user. At this point, it's in preview. So I have to give access to the particular user. Ideally, I would, I would want to give access to the role I just created so that I don't need to recreate that. You know, if I've got hundreds of users, I don't have to enter all of them here, uh, but at the role level will be nice. But again, this feature is in preview, so hopefully they'll change in with time. Now, once I give access, I can, uh, there are different levels of access I can give. So uh, read all SQL endpoint data. This is when you have access to the SQL endpoint. So let's say you want to access this data from a management studio or something like that, or some other third party tools, you can do that. Apache Spark gives the user access to the actual files and then of course to build reports using semantic model. So in my scenario, I didn't have to check all this because I just wanted to, the user to have access to the data using workspace. So you grant access and now I've logged in as lab user one and I can create a shortcut, Microsoft One Lake, and this was my lake house. And once I do that, now I can see only the tables that I have access to. I can select these tables and create a shortcut within the lake house. So as a 
As a data scientist, if I log in, I get access to only those tables that I've got access to. I can create a lake house and then I can build my data science model using notebooks and write into this in this lake house. And like I mentioned, I had to create a different table which was specific to the needs of the data scientist. So right now I cannot give, I was not able to provide access to only those columns that the data scientist needed, but hopefully that's coming soon. If you look at the roadmap for One Lake Security, you'll see that sometime next year we'll have a lot more features in terms of security. So it's definitely exciting to see that there's a, we can apply the security at the lowest level and then it'll flow through to any across all the multiple analytical engines that we'll be using on top of it. So which will make things easy to manage as well. All right, that's all I have. And as usual, if you've got any questions, comments, please feel free to reach out.